That's living. Mate, I thought you were gone. We're on a mission to find the steepest climb that you can ride up on a bike. Roads? Pfft, completed them, mate. We had to look elsewhere, so next we turned to an epic rock slab at 74%. But we conquered that too, and so now we're on our way to a purpose-built slab we've heard about that is one in one, 45 degrees or 100%. And we've also brought our test pilot, Chris Smith from our sister channel EMBN, the Electric Mountain Bike Network. As a man who can backflip a bike and willingly launches himself off cliffs, he's cut from a different cloth to, well, me. Basically, if Chris survives, I'll give it a try. And if he doesn't, well, hopefully we'll have it on camera. As I see it, there are three main issues with climbing impossible climbs. Firstly, grip. Can you get enough traction in the back wheel in order to keep yourself moving forwards? And then secondly, can you get enough weight over the front of the bike to stop the front wheel lifting and you flying out the back door? And then thirdly, power. It's hard enough walking up steep gradients, but how much power are you going to need to generate to keep yourself moving on two wheels up something that steep? Now, actually, thinking about it, there's a fourth thing as well, isn't there? Danger. Not something you usually associate with climbing up hills on a bike, but something that steep, if you have a problem near the top, you ain't stopping until you hit the bottom. For this challenge, we have brought, once again, our Kona gravel bike duo. So this is the Libre CRDL. It is a light, fast, carbon frame gravel bike. But coming as it does from a brand that has mountain biking in its DNA, it's got quite a playful vibe compared to most other gravel bikes. I mean, it comes with a dropper post as standard, not for helping old people get on and off, but for helping you get rowdy. However, like all gravel bikes, it's designed to go up climbs of a certain gradient, but not impossible ones, which is why we've brought its sibling. This is the Libre EL. So built on similar principles to the analog version, designed for adventure. It'll take you where you wanna go on any surface, and it'll take you there for as long as you wanna go for. There's enough mounting points to carry the kitchen sink. I mean, literally, you could put one on a pannier rack if you were so inclined. Crucially though, what's gonna make the difference here is that motor at the bottom bracket. That's a Shimano E7000 steps motor. It'll give us over 500 watts of peak power and 60 Newton meters of torque. So that plus rider, you're looking at probably about 1300 watts, which is gonna come in very handy for scaling a wall. Finding stupidly steep rock slopes is not easy, so we've come to a secret facility that was purpose-built to test military vehicles to their limits, and which has two slabs we can try and ride, both of which will push us beyond the limits of anything we've done before. The one-in-one, -one, and then the marginally less fierce nursery slope. Whoa! Oh my God! That is the... Uh... Nursery slope. Now that doesn't look too nursery to me, Si. <laughs> but it's not much of a nursery slope, is it? In terms of gradient, this is even steeper than the slab. So if we manage this... Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be raising the bar once again, I suppose. That's right. This will be the steepest ever ascent. And I don't think we can raise the bar much more because the <laughs> balance point, you're nearly looping out just stood on it. Yeah. <laughs> and whereas the slab was one beautiful piece of pristine limestone. I mean, what even is this? Chris? Well, this is man-made, but it's obviously, I think it's kind of like a sandstone concrete base, but it is man-made. But actually, I think this is going to offer less grip because you've got like hard pack flint, which has been polished by Land Rover tires, rubber, wet flint. You do the math, it's not gonna give you grip, is it? No, <laughs> no. So um, we're gonna warm up gently uh -huh. on something that's mildly terrifying. And something that isn't inspiring me is look at these Land Rover slide marks where they've been wheel spinning trying to get up it. This is, uh, this is gonna be next level, so I think. This is next level, okay. <laughs> you go first, right, Chris? Oh, as always. <laughs> Right, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this. The conditions today aren't really the one, but 
Go on, mate, you but, got this. Turn the bike on, it always helps. Is this a correct on the drops? Yeah. I, I'd go on the drops rather than the hoods, but yeah, no. Oh, don't know about that. Feel a bit more in control. Right, let's get it then. You ready? I'm ready. Am I ready? That's the thing. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. That's slippy. Whoa, that caught me out. It's actually surprisingly slippy. I don't know what pressure these are at. Did you got your uh, accurate tyre pressure Very gauge on your fingers? Oh, oh crikey, there's not much in that already, mate. You reckon you can drop some Yeah, just a couple of PSI on that. Maybe we'll swap lanes. There's a lot of sand. See where the sand is all washed down? There is a lot of sand. And with these semi slicks, it really picks up in the centre of the tread. So. I think we've swapped lanes as well. I think that right-hand track is more polished. It looks drier. Yeah, drier, and maybe a bit more smoother. So, attempt number two. Yeah. All right, let's go. On. Go on, Chris, you got this, mate. That back tire's looking good. I just caught the edge of that track, man. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Mate, I thought you were gone. Literally, uh, balls on the top tube here. Do you want a hand? Uh, I'm all right, I think I've got it. Woo! Oh my God. Whoa. Right. That is slidey. No. Third time of charm, is that what they say? Yeah. Well, look, the vultures Look. are circling. I'm ready for my, ready to pick the meat off my body. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's get it this time. Stay on that line. Go for it, mate. Come, come on, on, come you on. Got this. Go on, Chris. Go on. You got this, Front mate. Go is on. lifting Go off on. the floor. Come on, mate. You got it. Come on, mate. You got it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes. He nailed it. Brilliant. We can go home now. Job done. Right. right, any last tips? I think the biggest thing is to have confidence in that rear tyre because as you saw, our wheel spun a couple of times and saw me come down pretty quick. But if you just think grip, 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 and just really feel that grip like we did on the slab, uh, on the slab you know, if you're kind of expecting a wheel spin, it will happen, but yeah. it's not because you've got that receptor, 17.2 PSI. And that's what it's all think, about. Imagine that I've got grip and it will happen. Exactly, wise words. Never doubt your kit, Si. Go on, Ty. Okay. You got it. Pink grip, grip, grip. Ah, hang on a oh. bit. There was no way that was full power. Okay. All right, All right, come on. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, a little bubble. He's got it. Go on, Ty. You got it. Nice. Look at the power of the guy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yes! Nice! Woo! Wow, did it. Easy as that, look. Dealt with his skills, but he had the grip, he's got the power. Creamed it. Oh my goodness me, that was every bit as hard as the slab. That's crazy. But you can ride down this one. That was, <laughs> that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was that scary. Was really scary. Whereas, it, did you find the gearing? Like I almost, when I went up, I found like I was almost running out of gearing. Well, yeah, it's on the slab. I don't remember feeling overgeared. Yeah. But on this, I mean, I suppose that's because it's steeper, right? Yeah, yeah, like, pushing. And then, and so that the lift of the front wheel, with combining with like feeling the grip, that's the scary stuff. Like I had a couple of little tiny. I don't know if your front wheel come off the ground a yeah. few times. Yeah. With this gradient completed and the bar now set higher or steeper than ever, we headed over to the other side of the facility to tackle the one in one. It lay in a shaded north facing spot, looking to all the world like a cliff. Here we go, mate. Oh. <laughs> Are you actually kidding me? Is that, is that, that actually looks vertical, doesn't it? I'd like to say, if it was wider, you could, but how narrow you've got to play with, I'm not sure about this one. Like, now I'm on it, 
Yeah. And I'm not sliding back down at the moment. I feel like it's maybe not quite as bad as I first thought. So I'm quite happy for you to try it. Quite happy for me to try it. Yeah. I'm quite happy for you to try it too. No, 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 I'm all right. <laughs> I think on the gravel bike, you'll be lucky to go above that cement. Yeah. And then you're in yeah, out there, because you are, if you slide there, you're sliding, you're coming down to the bottom. Yeah. You're not going to stop on that. <clears throat> you see, we found the limit, Chris. Just pushed it a little bit. Yeah, just slightly over it. I can see it, it's just prime conditions, prime setup, definitely. But this is just, that's without taking a bike on it. I'm just, from my experience. Okay. Having checked it out from the bottom and unable to climb it on foot, we walked around to the top for a different perspective. I still actually can't see the slope from here. Not even on tiptoes, and this uh, green slippy moss isn't giving me the most inspiring grip either. Whoa, that is steep. That is steep. <laughs> Almost impossible, I'd like to say. I think we raised the bar on that one, but this is a step just a little bit too far. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we got, I don't think it's possible to ride up something that steep. We were on the limits of traction. We were on the limits of gearing. Yeah. We were on the limits of being able to keep the front wheel down. Mm -hmm. And I reckon another, what's that? Another five degrees. That's 45 degrees, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, it's crazy. So five degrees. Yeah. So, so the sweet spot, the mm -hmm. limit is somewhere between, what, like 37 and, well, 35 and 40 degrees? I reckon you're bang on there, yeah. I think maybe with adjustment of gearing, swapping tires out, bar height, things, you, those little things you could possibly tweak, you might be able to change that just a few degrees, but that currently is way out the park. What I'm pretty sure you could do though, is ride down there. Oh, I think I we all you'd like, want me to get two wheels on it in a way. I think we'd all like to see that, wouldn't we? Yeah. The viewers have spoken, oh. Chris, they want to see you ride down it. On a gravel bike with semi-slick tyres. Oh, here we go then. Wow. <laughs> All right, well, fair play for riding down it, mate. Cheers, that's pretty sketchy. Yeah, I just, I can't get over it. I mean, it is just mm -hmm. an absolute wall. There's part of me that still feels like we could try it, but the trouble is, there's no way of bailing out once no. you're up there. As I said, I think we could get probably halfway up this thing, but as soon as you get there, you're gonna run out of grip. You're probably gonna run out of forward speed momentum, and then it's just gonna be a one-way ticket back down the hill. It is, isn't it? And it's gonna be ugly as well, rolling back down there. <laughs> I guess, Chris, we've got to make a call, haven't we? Yeah. Have we found the limit of what is possible on a bike or is there unfinished business? I think there's unfinished business, but it's somewhere between this and that slope that we rode today. I think there is that one out there and we'd love to hear from you guys if you know of any slopes that potentially we could ride that are legal. That'd be good, wouldn't it? That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comment section and whether or not you think it's possible to go steeper than 37 degrees, so what's that, like 80% yeah. Any modifications we could do on our bikes too to help us do these challenges would be helpful as well, so get involved with those. Yeah, and then uh, otherwise, big thumbs up, Chris. Thanks, mate. Oh, there's no way I would have tackled that <laughs> had you not done it first. It's been another epic day out. Cheers for that side. It has, yeah. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Let's go get a cup of tea. Let's do it.